Hello year one and year two and welcome to Monday's topic learning. So it's the last week of term at this week which means it's time to reflect on our global theme and big question that we've been thinking about uh, for this half of the term and then we're going to carry on with it next term on a slightly different path okay. So today the date is Monday the 8th of February 2021 and the LO is to reflect on the global theme and big question. So if you are year two please could you pause the video now to write down the date and the LO and year one if you're going to write today in your book please do the same okay so pause the video now brilliant okay well done everybody so our global theme this uh, term and next term is rights and responsibilities and you can see it on this um, picture here we've got rights and responsibilities here and the things we've been thinking about are how to make part in making and changing rules and uneven sharing of power and how some people are excluded from decision making. So we thought a little bit about this through our PSHE lessons and also our school value this term is responsibility so you'll have thought about it through that as well and we will continue to think about it into term four after half term. And we also had the big question, how can we protect others, which again will continue into term four. But today we're going to think about just reflecting on what we've done this term, uh, which is going to, look, going to look a little bit different to how you'd normally do it in school, especially year two, you'd normally do um, your written reflections differently as you will have focused more on brave change maker skills and things. But as we've been at home, it's been very different. It's just going to look a little bit different this term. So, First of all, thinking about uh, rights and responsibility. So like I just said, through our PSHE learning, you've been um, doing some things about rights and responsibilities. And I think the unit you've been doing is was called I Know My Rights. So you've been thinking about different things in the lessons there. And hopefully you've also been watching the assemblies from uh, the partnership. So from the teachers at St. Mary's, as well as um, Mr. Spence and Mr. Chapel. So hopefully you've been watching those and they have been focusing on our school value this term, which is responsibility. So your first job today is to engage in, in some discussions. That's just talking at home or at school. And I've got two questions for you to think about. OK, so the first one is what are rights? And I know that you've all done learning on this and you've watched um, hopefully some of the assembly. So you should have some thoughts. And also, how can we be responsible? I'd love you to have a chat about what you can do to be responsible. That's how you can show our school value this term of responsibility. And all the time, not just this term, remember we show our school values all the time, don't we? And we just focus on one per term. So I'd love you to engage in some discussion. You don't need to write this down. If you wish you could um, record yourself in a little reflection and put it on Class Dojo, but you don't have to. Just would like you to have um, a conversation. Okay, so please pause the video now to do that. Brilliant. Well done, year one and year two. It's really great to reflect on the things that you've been learning. And it's really good to reflect on our school values as well, because we want to be showing them all the time. So it's really good to think really hard about how you can show them. OK, so we're going to move on. And we're thinking about a couple of reflection questions. And now this is reflection on our big question. So let me just get that big question again. Here it is. Our big question was how can we protect others? And we had a few um, small questions within that didn't they but we're just thinking about this general how can we protect others and i've got four reflection questions for you here okay so thinking about protection we've had a think about grace darling haven't we and we've learned about her life and we learned about what she did um or how she helped the people in that crash in the boat crash and we learned about uh, the rnli as well which links very much to grace darling's rescue um, so you've got four questions and I'd really like you to reflect on them and they will help you think about our big question. So the four questions are, why is Grace Darling remembered? How did Grace Darling protect people? How did the RNLI protect people? And what could you do to help protect someone or something? Okay, so the first one and well, first two are quite similar. So you want to tell me in the first question about how, what it was that Grace Darling did. So year one, we're going to be thinking about this a little bit in our um, non-chronological reports about Grace Darling, if you've already done that English lesson for today, and I think year two, you're going to be doing some writing about Grace Darling as well. Uh, so it's really good to think about why she was remembered, what did she do? And you can also link it in with um, how did she protect people? It might be that you answer that question, those two questions all in one, because they are quite similar, or you might think of something separate to write for each. So that's thinking about the first thing we did on our journey through this topic. And then last Monday, we had that talk from the RNLI, didn't we? 
It was so interesting and I know that you all really enjoyed it. So your third question is to tell me all about how the RNLI protect people. So we learned lots of information. So you can talk a little bit about how they protect people. You could also talk about any of the key messages that they shared with us, any things that you really need to remember. You can share that in question three. And then question four is a more personal question. It's about how you could protect someone or something. So we've had a really good think this term, haven't we, about the class bear. And it's been amazing to see your reflections of the class bear coming through all your learning and particularly at checkouts I know I've definitely heard lots of you talking about the class bear and how you also bears that you've got at home who you're going to protect I know you've all, loads of you have made boats um, we had a scuba diving kit made for our class bear so it's really great that you've thought about that and now I'm wondering if you could think about how you could protect something else or someone so I was thinking you could think about your under the sea learning from our wow day. We've been doing some, you've been doing some under the sea learning. How could you protect things under the sea? Maybe that's something you could do. Or you could do, uh, any, you could do anything you'd like. There's, I know lots of you have been doing the road safety learning. Maybe you could talk about that or you could think of something completely different. So it's about how, what could you do to protect someone or some things. So it could be a person or it could be a thing. Okay, and I'd really love to hear what you think you can actually go and do and to make a difference to um, some, someone or something, okay? So it's, that one's a really personal one to what you think you could do. So year one, I'd love you to either, I'd love you to answer the questions verbally and maybe record a video, you don't have to record all of them, but maybe one or two. And if you'd like to, it'd be great if you wanted to write them down. In year two, we'd really love you to answer these four questions in your book in full sentences. Okay, so you've got the date in the LA written down year two, so I'd love you to answer these questions in full sentences. Okay, so I really look forward to um, hearing and reading about your reflections and what you're thinking. And next time, we're going to continue with this big question, but we'll be thinking about something a little bit different. So when we come back um, for our online learning after half term, going to be going off on a slightly different direction but we'll still be thinking about this big question and then at the end of that term we'll do some reflections just like we're doing now okay so really look forward to reading them and hearing them if you're going to record a video year one you've done a super job with your topic learning this uh, term is heard and i've really enjoyed doing your topic with you and uh, we look forward to seeing you work on class dojo and we will see you after um, half term for some more topic learning Bye everyone.